if you guys don't know what i've started to do is i've started to a um positioning guide of how to position yourself on maps on different characters this is for dps only i don't know if there's been made one for tanks i could maybe make one for tanks in the future but again there are people that are more qualified than me to make uh, videos for tanks all right so this is gonna be for uh, flankers it's mainly gonna be for reaper uh genji to an extent uh tracer junkrat sombra those are the types of characters right i think the only characters that i won't really be going over is like fair mercy no fair and echo because those are one i don't play them a lot and two what i would recommend is pretty much just play around houses all right before we started with defense first so let's start with defense so tracer what i really like to do is play up here um i like to play we went over this on the last video we got red house uh yellow house and orange house um and you can blink between these two houses very easily and play around these and go on orange as well and the thing is especially in red house you can you can go up and poke and you can have a free flank pretty much by jumping over this and you can shoot them from behind um and once you get low uh you can recall and on top of that don't overextend too much because like you saw before if you recall too late you're not gonna end up in safety again again you can also play up here reaper reaper you can hold flanks over here another good thing is hold flanks because like we went over before for attackers hit scan a good route to take is this way if you don't have any mobility to get high ground from down there to up here another good way is going this route so you could hold this area as tracer on defense because you can play around the health pack you can recall and you can go over and pick your supports or you can even just fall back here uh so i like to play as much high ground as possible and hold the flanks as tracer sometimes they also flank over here and you can uh, you can duel them over here but they'll mainly be the tanks i feel like uh but yeah just play around up here i don't really like to play tracer too much on this point we went over that uh last last uh, video long range hit scans are very dominant on this map on dorado especially so but if you do insist on playing tracer I definitely recommend blinking around on top of high ground and around here. And same with Genji, stay up here and, and engage from up here. And for defense, uh, once Kart has uh, eventually moved up here, because uh, you would only play on the houses once Kart is over there to all the way up here. Because if you stay on, on high ground there on defense and the car's here, you're overextended. You're, you're way too far in. Uh, but you can play up here, though. I, I would recommend staying up here because if you get low and you have to fall back, you have this big line of sight to play behind and especially if card is like right here the enemy team would have to push up left side a card which would also expose them to your team standing over there in order to kill you here so um try and go for flanks here try and pick up their snipers uh because they will most likely play long range hit scans or snipers on this map so see if you can pick them off see if you can uh, find someone who's isolated uh or kill their supports if they're by themselves as well um same with Genji. Genji can do some cool wall climbing. Um, another tip is you can go from here. If you're playing over here, you can jump from here up to high ground there. So yeah, again, just, just use your flanking routes. So again, the cart will go this way. Use your flanking routes like in here uh, to go for their back line. If cart is no longer there and it's moved all the way up here, use this route especially. This route is very good for that. If the cart is here uh, and not up there, use this route over here. Like if you let's say you come back from spawn use this route over here and uh take higher ground on the enemies so yeah that's that's pretty much it again it, it's it's a lot to do with with where the card is positioned because if the card is positioned here their back line will be playing there which is why this flank is better for any flanking characters and if the card is over there this route is better because their support will be playing here if the card is up there which means that you'll be right next to them and you won't have to use your cooldowns in order to engage on their back line so that's another thing especially for flankers you you want to have as many cooldowns as possible when engaging on their back line uh because then you'll have the high chance of winning so so try and take the routes to uh, engage on them all right uh for attack for flankers you can't take this route i don't really recommend this too much uh what i like to do instead is come out of this door right here and you can either go down this way which is going to leave you this way so you won't have to peek them uh and you can go under here i like to go through the entrance once my cart is around over there i like to go through the entrance here and take my flank here because 
going through this area gives me the option to go either up here and shoot them or i can go behind them here and shoot them and i can fall back as well uh and play around the health packs that are back here there's one there there's a mega over here uh and there's a health pack in here as well so if they're standing up here or up there or over here you have all these three health packs to play around and you won't need help from your teammates uh and you can you can pretty much just distract them enough time for your team to move it all the way up here so so that's what i really like to do you can also go this way up here uh and see if you can pick someone off over here behind them but i i really like to go through the entrance uh as a flanker and just like immediately like sprint over there you can either go this way which is the fastest but the but riskier than going inside and going all the way in here so once it's uh, up here let's say the cart's here let's say you push the cart up here you lost the team fight you all respawn right most of your teammates will be going either this way or this way and going up to the cart to try and push it what i would recommend you do is go this way up here going over here isn't gonna be do anything for you really because unless you're like genji or hanzo you can't really get over that wall on most characters or reaper i guess uh but again like we talked about before if you jump down from this area you're leaving yourself very exposed to them uh, to the enemies so i wouldn't recommend going up here because going over here isn't going to give you much to work with other than going inside of here which you can easily do from main anyways so there's no need to take all that that big flank route um so i would always go left side here once car is over there uh because this leaves you to either go over here and play around here or it gives you the option to go on top of a market here and go inside the window and have this flank over here you can also dash in here as genji tp as reaper and you can tp up there or let's say you're over here you can tp in there so this is definitely the route that i would take an attack once card is over here because then their backline will be staying over here in this area which means that you can pretty much get there for free if you go in in that window and yeah like once cards around here once cards around here then their supports will most likely be playing here or over here occasionally they're going to be playing there but that's very rare i think especially in my games so i would actually instead of trying to uh, fight them close range left side i would actually take right side because flankers if you just like walk up to them like three people you're most likely gonna die so i would i would always go right side here maybe come from behind them here and create a little bit of uh, distractions back here maybe kill their mercy if their soldiers up here shooting because if their soldiers up here shooting their mercy is most likely standing back here damage boosting because she wants to mean safety which means that if you come from over here you might be able to uh kill her and sometimes their anna will stand there alone so you can you know maybe hit her with a pulse bomb so that's what i would do with flankers all right second point gate opens uh car goes through i would always say i would most of the time i'll take right side <clears throat> again your job as a flanker is not to move the cart so much sometimes it is it's very situational if there's nobody on your team moving the cart you could be the one moving the cart uh because you can get away very fast um so you can pretty much move it for free but i would pretty much take this route up here go in church uh shoot them uh there used to be some sick tracer uh uh tech you, where you could get up high ground here but i i think they got rid of it right it used to be able to stand on this ledge right here I, well i guess you can still do it i i don't know if anybody can find a way to consistently do it i guess that's the way to get high ground quick um but it, it used to be way easier but they nerfed it so so yeah or this one uh, I don't know if everybody knows that you can stand here. I think most people by now know. But you can stand here to make sure you break the flower pots. Because sometimes they can buck you out. And then you can get high ground from here. Uh, so this is also a really easy way to close your gap, your gap to the enemies. Uh, if they stay up here. Which they most likely will. If the cart's going to be moving here. And they can't see you either. Because there's this little thing that goes out. So um, they shouldn't be able to see you most of the time. Unless they like go out and like peek and like try and look for you right like if they stand here they can't see you but if they go out like this they can see you so that's probably the route that i would take first either go through here or in there you going from over here is not going to be good for you so another thing like i said before having your cooldowns as a flanker when you engage is very important which is why you would never want to triple blink onto someone in order to shoot them because this per this just leaves you very vulnerable 
and you'll most likely have to recall quickly after and that's just a waste of time so uh so yeah this is a good spot to uh to try and go for kills uh once cards moved up around here because most of the fights uh from over there to all the way here will be take the enemies will stand up there and you're just going to be moving card for free um so when you're over here that means that their enemies are going to be moving from over there to over here because uh, they want to have line of sight on you they might be able to stand over there but most of them are going to be standing over there which means that bank is now going to be a good flank route for you now that they're over here it's going to be way harder for you to close the gap from anything over here uh you can close the gap by going in church uh i don't know if can you get up over here oh, that's just good thinking uh you can close the gap up here um like this and only use like one blink but what i would recommend is to go in here because once you once the cards over there if you move in here you will not only have a health pack to play around but you'll also have a lot of line of sight to play around so you can go up poke go back down so they'll have to push you in order to see you and in that case you can either blink behind them or you can you can run away again there's that health pack there it's also a health pack in here if you want to run all the way over there but this is what i would do i'll go up here see if i can get a pick on one of their supports the only reason for why you would go over here is if they play over there um there's no reason for you to go all the way over here to then flank all the way back because this is this just takes way too much time it's way faster just to go through bank but if they do play over there i would not engage from up here on any flankers again closing the gap without using cooldowns is going to be your it's, it's going to be what you're looking for as a flanker so this goes for any flanker you would want to go from under here and use the line of sight that you have to them up there and to the enemies over there to close the gap here so that's the route that you want to be taking in order to to get close there's also a tech um if you move cart up here you can jump on the cart and once you jump on the cart you can blink up here you can blink once up here and then another blink to get up high ground um genji can just walk climb reaper can tp right so another flank that you can use uh to get to bank if you don't if you feel like there's too much pressure from high ground here is that once you respawn you can go in here oh, that's a beautiful painting uh you can go in here and then you can go over here because there is a uh a wall a broken wall that you can go through so you won't have to be outside all the time and then you're in bank so that's another route that you can take um and yeah that's about it for attack for defense for defense you want to there's not a lot you can do I i'll be honest on on this point as a flanker on defense i will go over the things that you can do your main priority i would say as as a flanker on defense if the enemy team has a flanker is you want to deal with their flanker you want to you want to you want to pretty much just waste their time because if you waste their time then your back line will be free uh they'll have a lot more space and a lot more wiggle room to work around with um and since you are defending you will have the majority the, you will have the 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 advantage most of the time because because most maps are set up in defense favors uh because the defensing team has time to set up they have time to gain high ground they have time to get better positioning so most of the places uh, of, of maps are set up to be in favor of the defensing uh the defending team so if you can if you can make it from 5v5 to 4v4 and not having your backline worry about any kind of flankers then they will win the majority of the fights um so that's what i would do i would make sure that the, that the enemy tracer can't flank over here or genji or reaper or what is and i'll just annoy him uh waste his time pretty much uh, but i do like to start up here and play around here not only to secure the flank but also because a lot of the times when card is moving up here their backline is 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 exposed so you can just blink in once pretty much and you can be on their backline immediately uh so I, I do like to start over there um i would not start i would not play here as a defensing tracer I, I would not or defensing flanker in general this is way too clutter you're way too far away from your team and sometimes when you even fall back you're going to be breaking line of sight to your support so you can't be healed so i wouldn't be playing here so that's where i would start uh once cards moved up here once cards moved up here i would actually 
play with my um, play with my team, even as a flanker at this point. I'll play up here with them because they're gonna be running around like here uh, while they're trying to move cart, and you can easily right here spot whoever's gonna be alone. So if they have like let's just say an Anna and Lucio, right? If their Lucio moves in there, you know their Anna is left here, so you can just easily go on the Anna. And you have very, very... You can engage very quickly once you see an opening of someone being isolated. Same with Reaper as well. Um, if you if you see their Anna being by herself, you can just jump down and, and start shooting her. So this is a very good spot for you to start um, as, um, as a flanker uh, with your team. Uh, over here, once the card is around here in its last fight, I actually like to play over here, right here, because you can break line of sight very easily, and you won't really have to worry about too much uh, people coming from from your back. You have the health pack to play around if you need it, uh, and you can take a left turn here. And if card is around here, then their supports will most likely be standing here, which means that you can easily see if somebody is by themselves. And, and most of the time they will be scattered out because they're just going to be focusing on cart, which means that if they have an Anna, she will be standing back here, scoping in by herself. And she'll be focusing on cart. She won't really be focusing on the thing on the right because she's want to heal her Ramat, uh, her Ramatra or Orissa, whatever it is on point. So you can come from the point. This is this is only if you insist on playing flankers on this point. I would I would recommend as a DPS is, is that you play a long range hit scan or something like that here. Um, but but yeah. Second point is actually not too shabby. Um, I think there used to be a way to get up there, but I forgot how to do it. Or maybe there never was. Move your cart, move the cart from over there to over here. Another thing in Overwatch is that there are gates that has to open from time to time. The gates are gonna have an animation and whether or not you have one person, five people or zero people in cart, that animation takes the same amount of time at any given moment. So, it's a waste of time to get the cart up here and and have five people on the cart because it's not going to go any faster. So what I would do is get the cart up here. Same goes for Icon Wall. Icon Wall is, is a great example because there's two gates that has to open. Um, the first one, the cart doesn't move by itself after it opens, but the second one, once you open the gate, the cart will automatically move by itself for a certain amount of time, even with with no people on the cart. So that's another thing uh, here. This gate opens, but it's not going to move automatically afterwards, but it will it will open even with no people on it. So the moment you get on the cart, get the cart to here and the gate starts opening, I'll, I'll start taking the, the flanks. So you can take the route up here. I would. This is not the best flanking route because uh, the whole enemy team is most likely going to be staying up here. So I'd say go underneath and see if you can uh, come from behind. Take a little bit of space behind them. It's very tricky, especially for Tracer. You most likely want to double blink here. Wait for your cooldowns and then double blink in here. Um, and Genji. Genji, you could probably wall climb here. You go down here and you wall climb up here. And then, like, you find whoever you want to kill. Um, this map is... Th this part is very cluttered. Um, there's only one flank route, but it's only really for... Um, the defensing team, because you can't really get up there. I don't think. I, I think you, I don't know if you used to be able to, or I'm thinking of another map. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, like they'll most likely know where you're going. Uh, so what you could do is like play around cart. Um, uh, like I did, like I said before, you want to get the cart, once the cart opens, you want to, or the gate opens, you most likely want to get the cart all the way up here before taking your first fight. Your job as Tracer could be to move the cart, play around the cart, play line of sight, and play in here and like slowly move the cart. Um, because if they drop down, you also have to, a lot of uh, line of sight to play around in here, especially because uh, the people on high ground will be able to peek you. So if you insist on going for their backline here, which I wouldn't recommend because most of the time uh, on this map, they will, especially on third point, they will be stacking up. So they will have like two, three people staying together most of the time. Um, so on this point, I would most likely just play the objective on most flankers, especially on Reaper as well. Because once they contest card, they will, they will be really close to you and you can shred them down a lot. 
a lot quicker so for most flankers i'll play around here genji you might be able to climb up go for a dash in see if you can get a pick and then like jump down again once the cart moves up here you can go for you can just stay on the cart the whole time you can go right side here and and go for someone behind them because if the cart is about to to uh be pushed all the way then uh they will most likely be standing in here and shooting which means that they won't be too focused on what's happening over here which gives you an opening window to to sneak behind them and uh, and go for a kill you can also move the cart here and blink behind them over here because there's a room in here there's also a, a health pack in here if you need it and you're even further behind them here since they'll be looking here you'll be like right behind them so that's also another good flanking route on this map flanking routes are going to be better in the future guys on on different maps because because maps are designed differently for different characters uh which is actually one thing that i like about overwatch is that certain characters are are, are more meta on different maps so there's going to be maps that are way better for tracer and flankers in general so uh so yeah that's for attack for for defense uh, you could actually play this over here. I wouldn't recommend it for long range hit scan, but for flangers especially, you drop down, try and go for a pick. Uh, and if if it goes south quickly, you can recall out. But if it doesn't, you can, all, you can just play around the cart here and blink back really fast because you won't be too far in because this is a very cluttered, uh, cluttered third point. So uh, another thing is play in here. This is what I would this is where I would start. So they move the cart in here. The gate opens, the cart moves out. I would actually play around over here. Uh most likely low ground. And and play over here. Um, because you actually have the chance to go even deeper and get the health pack here if you need it. And go behind them. Or if you're Genji, you dash through them. You pretty much end up here after dashing. You can always fall back, get the health pack, and climb out again. So so always start over here, I would say, as a flanker. This is, this is actually a really, really good spot. And I use this a lot myself. Once Carp is moved up around here, again, you can take this flank over here, but it's it's riskier, but less expected. So this is higher risk, uh, higher reward, whereas this is low risk, low reward, where you're playing here. Because you can actually, once Carp is here, you can contest Carp from here. So you can like, you can like jiggle peek them pretty much like this and just contest the Carp all the time. And once they get close to you, you can either blink out and fight them with your team or you can uh, go even deeper or just fall back. So you actually have three options, um, which is going to make it way harder for the enemy to predict where you're going to be going. Uh, again, you're also playing right next to a health pack. So if you get shot, get the health pack and come back out. So uh, that's this card is here. Um, if cards all the way over here, pretty much all uh, being pushed all the way, uh, never take this route. As in never. It takes way too much time. And I think you can even... You can even blink over here. Yeah, you can even blink over there without having to go all the way that, uh, over there. So it just, it's its a waste of time going over there, pretty much. Uh, again, if you insist, you can blink over here, over this area. Uh, I don't do it myself a lot. I do it from time to time, but, but yeah. What you want to do is, is is hold this area here and, and go for a pick over here. Play around the, the health pack and, and just try and kill their supports. Same with Reaper as well. You go out, you can you can TP in there without them even noticing. Yeah, third point is very... Uh, Dorado in general is very hard for flankers. It's very cluttered and has a lot of high ground, uh, which makes it harder for you as a flanker to get value. But those are the routes that I would take. The positioning that I would take on the enemies. The way that I would engage. So yeah, the key points is, is assess your risk, how much risk you want to take with these routes that there are uh, on the maps. Uh, whether or not you feel like you can take the high risk to get the high reward. Close the distance between you and the enemies with as little cooldowns used as possible. And uh, especially for defense, you want to you wanna contest the enemy flanker. Uh, which again is why this play is so over here. As, as even for defending flanker is so valuable because you can contest them a lot more. So, um, so yeah.